I'm with Dr. Jared Grenville. He's the director of ABARS here at the uh, annual tw uh, 2024 Outlook conference. Uh, it's a great conference as a chance to catch up and get an idea of where Australia's primary sector is at right now, where it's looking to be going in the next uh, two to three years in terms of the medium term, where the uh, upsides and the downsides are. Jared, uh, one of the areas that uh, New Zealand farmers have been mm. particularly interested in in the last uh, probably six to eight months is uh, Australia's weather prospects, and, and not just in terms of coming over to have a holiday, escape <laughs> the rain at home, but particularly around the area of uh, what the dry weather indications were coming into springtime. How did that actually play out in the end? Yeah, so we saw quite a rush to market yeah. when, when we got those dry conditions forecast. And really, I guess the seasonal conditions that they had forecast initially and actually maintained was for yeah. fairly average and not too bad rainfall. But yeah. the key driver was when there was a declaration of the El Nino event, yeah. which is generally associated with fairly dry conditions. Um, and then we saw really producers oh off the back of a dry start to, to spring, decide to destock. And we right. saw a real significant destock. Yeah. And that destocking event, I think, was quite, you know, I guess, significant in the sense that we'd just come out of three years of rebuilding. Yeah. Um, and so the quality of stock also that was coming into the market was quite low and caused right. you know, local prices to really yeah. race around that October market. Right. And as far as the, the, the summer's played out, Jared, just flying into camera, the, the states seem very green, yeah. uh, almost as green as New Zealand. Uh, would it be fair to say it, things didn't quite go as maybe had been expected or quite as dire as expected? Or? Yeah, certainly the season, uh, rainfall seemed to return and particularly yeah. in areas kind of south of the, in, on the eastern side, they actually yeah. had quite a good season and we got to end up getting a, a great kind of winter crop off in Victoria and so forth, but right. even including up to New South Wales and Queensland, some of the summer rainfall was much, much better and that really kind of took right. pressure off yeah. that that push to market yeah. um, and we saw prices start to rebound and even some producers, particularly in southern areas, think about maybe restocking because they had a significant amount of pasture right. on, on yeah. farm. What, what, what are the prospects for going forward into the next 12 months then climatically? Yeah, so we're expecting actually a return to you know somewhat good conditions. Yeah. Um, so there's an expectation that the El Nino event's going to break down yeah. over the next little while, and mm. we could even return into a La Nina phase, which is right. associated with higher rainfall. Sure. But our expectations for next next year really are on the basis of us having fairly average conditions. Right. Um, mm. And that should see a, kind of a pause to that growth in production, and so. Yeah. Australian slaughter rates went up about 12.5% this, this financial year, yeah. um, and we're expecting them to stay about steady for right. the financial year. Yeah, I'm sure it's the sort of news that'll be uh, bring joy to Kiwi sheep farmers' hearts. <laughs> Thanks very much, Jared. No Thank worries. You.